Now we're ready to use Tech360 treatment system. The patient is now positioned properly with the main strip in her or his mouth, and the patient has a blue nose to clear any nasal drainage. Choose the right or left nostril to start. I will start with the patient's right nostril. Align Tech360 to the right nostril by turning the syringe counterclockwise so that it is on the right nostril track. Always keep the handle pointing at 12 o'clock. Please stand in front of patient. Using your non-dominant hand, gently lift the tip of the nose of your patient to expose the entrance of nasal cavity as shown here. Using your dominant hand, insert the short tip of Tech360 device into the nasal entrance of patient as far as you can by pointing slightly superior and direct posteriorly as shown here. Don't worry, the narrow front portion of the TX360 device will not reach crib front plate. The wider back portion of the TX360 applicator will limit how far it can be inserted into the patient's nose. Once most of the short tip of TX360 is inserted into the nasal entrance, gently point the TX360 inferiorly to align TX360 to the floor of nose. The moment you feel slight resistance when pointing TX360 inferiorly, this indicates the tip of TX360 is now aligned to the floor of the nose. If you feel slight resistance, please point TX360 slightly medially towards nasal septum. About two or three degrees should be sufficient. Patient's septum deviation is rarely an issue, since septum deviation is usually in the cartilaginous part, not in the bony part. The TX360 device travels along the inferior meatus medial to the bony part of nasal septum. The next step is to hold TX360 in this position with a non-dominant hand and hold the syringe with a dominant hand. Then gently push the entire syringe into the body of TX360 as far as you can. The soft needle-like tip should glide on top of the floor of the nose. You may feel a small resistance, if at all. But if there is significant resistance, please stop and reposition the device, or consider potential abnormal internal nasal anatomy, such as nasal polyps. There shouldn't be any resistance to advance the syringe posteriorly into nasal cavity in order for the entire catheter extend to the limiting point. At this point, you're ready to deploy the medication. The shipping clip was previously set at a halfway point to deploy the first half of 0.3 cc of medication. With the thumb of your dominant hand, gently but quickly push the push rod. The fast deployment achieves two goals. First, the soft needle-like tip of the catheter will then extend itself slightly. This will allow more area to be covered and negate the slight anatomical variation of the location of the sphenoparting foramen. Second, forceful deployment through the tiny aperture on a soft needle-like tip gives force of the aqueous medication deployed upon impacting the mucous membrane and therefore enhancing penetration of mucous membrane by utilizing the physics principle of fluid dynamic. The shipping clip stops the deployment at the 0.3 cc point. You have now successfully utilized TX360 on the right nostril. Pull back on the syringe. So the soft needle-like tip moves back in place within the device and remove the entire apparatus from the patient with a swift move. Ask patient to blow and clear the right nostril. We are now ready to proceed to the left nostril. Start by removing the limiting shipping clip from a halfway point on the plunger. You are now ready to reposition the syringe on the left nostril. With the entire syringe back to neutral position, realign syringe to the left nostril track by turning the arrows in a clockwise direction and repeat the entire process on the left nostril to inject the rest of the medication or 0.3 cc towards the left sphenoparting foramen. When all medication is emptied, you will feel a small click. This indicates complete deployment 
of the entire drawn medication, or 0.6 cc of volume. Pull back on the syringe so the soft needle like tip is back in place within the device and remove the entire apparatus from patient with a swift move. Ask the patient to blow and to clear the left nostril. The entire process is very quick and painless.